Cavs hosting the Knicks, and the Knicks are three-point road favorites. The over-under is at 214. The Knicks are minus 146 on the money line, and the Cavs are plus 124. Now, these are the overnight odds. They are also the pre-confirmed lineup odds. Garland is still listed as out. He may play tomorrow, but it's looking like he's not. It looks like Mitchell is supposed to play tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join my Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and to my stats. It's supposed to be Brunson, Grimes, Barrett, Randall, Robinson, Mitchell is still questionable, Struess, Okoro, Wade, and Mobley. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Knicks are on a three-game winning streak. The Knicks are 7-3 and three against the Cavs in their last 10. The home team is 6-4. and four. The underdog is both 6-4 and four on the money line and 6-4 and four against the spread. The unders hit in their last five games. The under is seven and three, and the under two fourteen is also seven and three. The last four that they played against each other, the Cavs won 107 90 in Cleveland, and the Knicks won the next three 99 79. 102 93, both of those games were in New York, and then 106 95 in Cleveland. The Knicks are one in three in their last four, and the under has hit in three out of their last four games. And for the Cavs, They've lost their last two games. They have not been playing well at all. And the over is hitting two out of the last three games that they've played in. I'm going to take the Knicks with the money line. I'm going to take the Knicks laying the points. And I'm going to just roll with the stats here and go under. Especially if there's no uh, Garland and Mitchell potentially doesn't play a full game in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.